Dimension breaks. Let's learn how to break some dimensions so we can clean up our designs a little bit. You can open up this file yourself by browsing to your project files, chapter 9, and opening up dimension breaks. I'll go ahead and close this because I already have mine open here. So as you can see, we have some dimensions labeled out. Here's a radius, another radius, and some linear dimensions here and a radius crossing it. Sometimes when you have many dimensions, you'll have lines crossing over each other. For example, your design itself, like these green lines here, will cross over your red dimension lines. You have extension lines coming out and then more lines crossing over those for another dimension. So how do we clean this up a little bit? Because we may not exactly want all this clutter and lines getting things just really confused. Well, one useful tool is in the Annotate tab. In the Dimension panel, we have a command called Break. Let's go ahead and activate that. The command line says, select dimension to add, slash, remove, break, or multiple. Well, let's go ahead and select a dimension to break. I'll go ahead and select this dimension here. And then it says to select object to break dimension. So which of these objects do we want to break the dimension that we first selected. Let's try this dimension here. If I select it and we zoom in a bit, we can see that the dimension was broken by these two extension lines. So let's try that again. I'll go ahead and select break, pan down a bit, and now again I will select the same line, this radius line here, and then I'll select these objects here. But since I selected this object here, this is an individual line. Let me go ahead and hit escape a few times and show you. This line isn't exactly this. So make sure that when you're selecting your object, if I was to select this, the only way it would break this is if this, all of these lines were associated with each other. But right now they're currently not all joined into one object. So let's go ahead and redo that command. I'll select break. I'll select this dimension line here, and then I'll select this line here to break it. Now that line is completely broken all the way across. This is a very useful command. So let's look at a few more places where we can break our lines to clean things up a bit. Let me go ahead and actually maybe dimension this point here. I will shift right click, make sure I grab an end point grab a point here and I will pull this all the way out to over here just so we get a crossing line here we don't need to worry about the numbers yet right now I'll add one more dimension maybe here shift right click make sure you get an end point here and I'll pull it all the way out to the side here just so we get another dimension here so we can break and clean up ourselves okay so let's go ahead and activate break one more time I will choose this here to break and now I can go ahead and select maybe this line here to break it but then I would have to break it again with this object here and that would have two steps of having to use the break command so instead this time I'm going to go ahead and select manual and now I can specify which points to break my line at I will pick a point here it will be a vertical line up and down I don't need to exactly click the line itself I can go ahead and hover above a bit here I will move over here a bit and pick there so as you can see I went ahead and broke the line the two points that I specified which could be a little bit easier instead of having to break it with this line and this line here well I can always go ahead and activate break select the line that I want to have broken and then select auto and AutoCAD will go ahead and break the line for me at every time it crosses another line. Well let me just throw lots of dimensions in here and here. Don't worry about the overlapping. I We're just trying to look at actual dimension lines being broken right now. So the lines themselves are the focus of this lesson. I'll do one more maybe from here to here so we can know where the center of this is at. Since I'm having a little bit of trouble, I will right click and we can always choose center to make sure we're locking on to the center itself. Pull out a bit. 
And now you go, whoa, these are a lot of lines. And that would take a lot of time to clean up each individual line to choose to have a break in it and then to choose what is actually breaking it. Well, we can go ahead and use a few commands to make this easy. After activating break, I get the option to multiple. So let's go ahead and choose multiple. And then it says to select the dimensions. So I'll go ahead and select all of my dimensions. And once I'm done, I will go ahead and press enter. And now again, I can just choose auto to make it easy on myself. And as I zoom in, you see every time a dimension line crosses something else, it gets broken. So these ones here that I created, the ones that were here are created, this line here gets broken across. And a useful trick with the auto is if I was to come back and select this object here, if I was to maybe drag it over here, you see the lines continue to be broken, which is very useful. You wouldn't want to have to go back and re-break these lines again. Except the manual line here, if I was to select this here, and you make sure I grab the right grip, and pull it out a bit, I guess this would actually be the line. You can see the broken part that I did manually isn't really adjusting itself, but since I did do auto and everything, it's adding a second break there. So the op manual, you'd have to go ahead and fix that part. We can go ahead and select, select again. We can always remove, and it removes all the breaks. So I got rid of that manual line that we had there, the manual break, break once again select this object and choose auto and it auto breaks it for us so these are very useful commands to help clean up your dimension lines when they get a little bit messy we also had the spacing that we looked at and other techniques as well and a little bit later we will learn how to actually adjust our dimension styles as well so everything looks a lot nicer